guys hello i look like such a mess it's been a few days i was actually quite ill and i was on bed rest for a few days okay so it just so happens that today i feel a lot more active and yeah it's thursday as you guys already know on thursdays what we do is we do classes with my level up girls so i just it was a good excuse for me to really just get ready today and get back to my zone so it is like a good excuse i also do feel a lot more better thank god i had like this weird really heavy chest a very sore throat so much headache it just never happens but no i'm lying it actually does happen um it happens to me once a year and always by the end of november i always fall really really ill once a year usually by the end of november like it's been a record i just i don't know what to do about this but yes that phase is now over and now inshallah i'm ready for a healthy super long year ahead i'm also kind of happy that it's uh december this year is ending you guys can you believe that let me just pull myself together and get my shit together basically okay um and i decided to strain my hair first of all because they always give me a very uh, well put together a neat and clean look okay and then after that i just yeah i mean i just moisturize my face but i look like look at the dark circles even though I have, all i've been doing for the past few days i have just been sleeping yet still you see dark circles uh uh this is not done so here i have like my big huge humongous glass of water that i plan on finishing right now <laughs> I also have a bowl of blueberries here. I like to eat and like just snack on something as I do my hair because my hair does take a long time, you know. So I have to do this little section up here, but I have a lot of hair and they're very stubborn and especially straightening my hair. Honey, it takes a while. By the way, if you want to see the video, how I straighten my hair and like what products I use, watch one of my previous videos and you will see. So let me just quickly finish this up and then do my If you have seen me in this kurta for a few days, this is my shirt. Usually I wear this all the time when I'm doing just random things or also if I'm praying by the way because it's like a fuller length, it's covered so it's easy for me to pray in it also. Um, but yeah, we're gonna change shortly, okay? Um, my hair is done. Not really, I still have this little section here. What do you do with the bangs? I kind of do regret my decision to cut the bangs. If you want to see how I cut them at home, you can see that video. But now I feel like I want to grow them back again. So what I do, I just like mix them up with the rest of my hair like this. So you kind of cannot see it anymore. That they're there, if that makes sense. And my hair is now ready. My hair is now straight. I hope I did a good job. Did I do a good job? <laughs> okay, I think I'm done with the straightener. I want to go ahead and do some makeup. But before that, I do need some SPF on my face. I have done my morning skincare already. Okay, you know what? For now, let me just literally just do this. Yeah, looks funny, but... My hairline is like the weirdest hairline you probably have seen. Ignore. I have moisturizers and serums on my face already. Uh, I need a sunblock. I literally forgot about my sunscreen. 
I'm using the La Roche Posay one. I'll give you guys a link in the description so you can check it out. It's a really nice sunblock. And also, if you apply this before makeup and stuff, it does not leave that white cast that people are always so worried about, you know? So I like this uh, SPF for that purpose. I also liked uh, the Neutrogena sheer touch but i don't use that anymore because i feel like every time i use that before my makeup it just rubs off my face kind of it just it just like it becomes like that rubbery little thing and then it just goes away from my face i don't like that but it's good for those days where, where you don't do makeup you know but i need an spf where i can do makeup every day and i feel like la roche posay antelios is a great option I'm also going to cover my eyelids. I tend to get freckles here around my eye area for some reason. You know, it's really annoying. On my ears a little bit. Next thing, I'm going to apply a little bit of our face oil. Just about one drop. I like to put it on my hand first and then on my face i don't really let this droplet touch my face i don't like that i don't know how people get away with that they always like literally touch it and rub it on their face and then they put it back into the container and they use the same next time no mm -mm. i'm too paranoid to do that so i use the face oil because i really like a dewy glowy uh makeup finish i don't like super matte makeup looks so I use this oil and the good thing about this oil is it doesn't really crack your foundation like some of the oils can do that this one doesn't do that so it keeps my foundation in place also it's a little sticky on your face i feel like it really does help in keeping your makeup just in place for a longer period of time so i'm gonna let this just soak in for a second i'm using some armani primer only on the areas where I have open pores. I love Armani foundations and uh, also their primer because this primer also has SPF in there. So I feel like it's quite helpful, you know. So just on the T-zone area. Let it sit for a second. Let me do a little color correcting because I have so much things going on. Let me just get rid of the dark circle a little bit. I do have a little darker area around my mouth here so you just apply a little bit of that product i literally in the beginning started to apply a lot of corrector and then i watched some videos i did some research and i found out that you're not supposed to use that much corrector it's supposed to do its job with very little application so just take a little bit and it cancels out the darkness and then you can layer your foundation and the concealer on top like, do you see the difference? Do you see? And, and I've applied really very little. And I feel like my mouth area is getting super dark. I need to start using some brightening serums. I also have received a few packages, by the way. That, and yeah, two Level Up girls have cancelled on me today. They're not going to be able to take their own classes only because they're not feeling too well. And I understand because I have been so ill recently myself. So I'm going to let them rest today. But I still have two other girls uh, to teach today. Let me use my favorite foundation, which is the Giorgio Armani Silk Luminous. I only use about one drop. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation on top. It's just literally just one drop of Armani foundation that I need. It should be enough. applying a little bit of the Armani Silk Concealer also under my eyes and overall on the T-zone area. I feel like I've taken too much product. Oops! Do you see how my dark circles have completely gone? So that is what happens when you do a little bit of correcting if you want to see the palette that I used, well, I will link everything in the description anyway. Oh, I also have a little Amazon shop now where I have uh, picked up my favorites, like my favorite uh, skincare products that I use and some of the makeup basic things that I use. Like every single day I use the same things, right? So I have listed that on my Amazon store. I will actually give you guys a link to that Amazon store 
and then you'll be able to see all the things that I use. Uh, it has like a skincare section, morning skincare, nighttime skincare, my basic uh, makeup items in there, you know, everything is listed. I'm gonna set the concealer a little bit with my favorite powder. It's been the Laura Mercier translucent for years now. And I know I look super pale right now, but I'm gonna go in with my bronzer, so it's okay. I feel like I like to brighten my T-zone area quite a lot because it, it, it does make me look like I have woken up like well slept and stuff, you know, so I like it that way. And then I go in with some bronzer and then I'm not as pale anymore. I like to keep a straight face on as I do my blush because obviously if you lift your cheeks as you smile and then you drop them back again when you have a serious face then your blush drops also so keep a straight face and then position your blush and then just blend it blend it blend it okay I also like to use a little bit of blush just on the tip of my nose I'm sorry guys I know this light is giving some shadows but I can't I don't know what to do I don't know what else to do uh, I was thinking to use natural lighting today, but then again, it's London and it's raining all the time, so excuse me. I really wanted to also go live on my Facebook page to do like a Kim K inspired uh, blue eyeshadow look because somebody had requested me to do so. Well, I haven't done live sessions for so many days. I really miss doing my usual tutorials, but I have done half of the makeup already now, so I don't know if that makes sense to now go. Maybe I could just do my eyes there, you know, like dark blue, nice eyes. I don't know, I'll see. Okay, let me put my makeup back because I get, I get a little OCD, okay? Everything has to be clean around me because I go crazy. I'm super excited to open my packages up later because I've got some new stuff that I ordered. Anyway, I'm using the Kaiko Dark Treasure Gold Highlighter. Is it gold? No, it's called Gold Brightness Highlighter by Kaiko Milano. But look at generally, even without the highlighter, my skin is quite glowy and that is why I like to use the face oil before. This is the type of finish that I like, even though I use a lot of powder, but it's still coming through like very glowy and flawless. And it's because I use the Youth Glow face oil. I really love that oil. I will give you guys a link to that, but if you visit my website, Isha Cosmetics, you'll be able to see those oils at front page anyway. So I quite like that glowy finish that it gives me. I, I recommend that oil for everyone, honestly. It's such a useful anti-aging oil and you can use that in so many ways. It's genius. Let me do my eyebrows. I'm still thinking, procrastinating, whether I should actually go live and do a tutorial or not. And here I am, I've literally finished up all my makeup. I recently also cut my eyebrows shorter because I feel like it gives me more space on my eyes to work when I'm doing uh, makeup and like eyeshadows and different makeup tutorials and stuff, you know. So I'm having a thing for shorter, fuller eyebrows this season. Why do I have this dip on my face? This is so weird. But yes, this is my pillow side. Ugh, yeah, I sleep on this side. So this is bound to happen. Look at all these dips. Do you see these dips? You should never sleep on one side of the face on your pillow always. Like, no, same position. Mm, mm -mm. The Rimmel Brow This Way pencil I like because it also has a brush on the other side. It's for me very, it, for me, it's very practical. I don't really use gels and stuff on my eyebrows. I just like to have this pencil to fill it in and then just brush it through so it distributes the product that I've just applied. And that much is just, I feel like, enough for my brows. They look full but also natural enough for me to walk outside of the house if I have to in the daytime, okay? Crazy Instagram eyebrows. Ugh. See? I feel like the more I brush it through, the more natural it starts to look. So I do take my time and brush it through. There you go. I don't know, my eyebrows don't look very equal nowadays. 
I'm just gonna ignore the fact that I don't know what's going on on my eyebrows. I already applied a little bronzer around like my nose, so it kind of looks cute now. But for the highlighter, oh, look at that shine, look at that shine. <laughs> okay, for the highlighter, I like to take a smaller brush. With the fan brush, it just puts the highlighter everywhere and I don't really like that. I don't like to go on my nose with a fan brush because it just distributes the whole product on like everywhere. I don't want that on my nose. I like to be very specific. So I'm gonna take a little brush. This is from Urban Decay. And I'm gonna put a little dot right here. And a little, a little line, like an exclamation mark, but a very small line, you know, not all the way here because that makes my nose look so long. And I don't like that look. Mm -mm. I like it a little short like this. That's it. I also need a little more highlighter obviously on my inner corner of the eyes or the tear ducts as you call them. Like this. And now I really do... Uh, can you tell that I was ill for five days? No, you can't. Uh-uh. There's no way anybody can tell. Nobody should dare to ask me today. How are you? Are you feeling okay? I don't like those type of questions. Of course I'm doing okay, duh. I'm fine as hell. Ooh la la. Gosh, I finally feel like myself. I cannot tell you. It's been so many days. I have been just on bed rest. Obviously doing nothing, nothing productive at all. I got a lot of work done, by the way. I have a lot, uh, I've made a lot of improvements for my brand. Also the website, there had to be so many sections added to our website. We have upgraded lots of things. The size charts are better now. Uh, a lot more information about me is added onto the website. The delivery timings are added on the website. So uh, I did a lot of changes like that creatively as much as I could while still being in bed, okay? So make sure you check out those things. Also, the sizes, the size chart for the waist trainers has also been improved. You can go check it out. I've also received some small and extra small sizes in the waist trainers, which is really cool. I mean, it's my wish to start fitting into like a small waist trainer. I still use the medium one. Last time I tried the small size, it was a little uh, too tight. And I was like, oh, I need to get out of this. It was too much, you know? And then I also have like extra small hair. <laughs> Uh, I don't know who these lucky girls are who take it extra small, okay? I can't relate. Can't relate. <laughs> I haven't done my eyes. Uh, guys, I actually decided, wow, how big do my hands look in the camera? I need to position them. I need to not actually position them at all in the camera. Anyway, I was saying, I actually decided to go live and do some uh, makeup. That is why I've left my eyes. I'm gonna do some brown balm, not brown, sorry. I'm gonna do blue balm, Kim K inspired makeup, uh, which is why I'm wearing like this nude um, thingy, okay? Uh, uh, because it will really make the blue eyes pop out. And then I'm gonna post some pictures on Instagram later. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram, it's me, Lady Isha. And then, um, yeah, okay, guys. Uh, please ignore if you see my hair strands up and down because I've been cutting my hair ever since more than a year. It's been two years. I've been cutting my own hair at home and it's weird that, you know, some strands are up and down and all of that, okay? So, yeah, I'm not very good at cutting my own hair, apparently. I mean, I'm good at cutting and stuff. I'm really good with creative creativity when it comes to hands and stuff, but um, I don't know how to cut them evenly. So, do you see all of that? Like, it's just lots of roller coasters here but anyway let me complete my water i also just oh my god i have to take my vitamins i'm back okay guys if you want to know because i know all of you always want to know huh, i take vitamin d especially now since it's winter no sunshine anyway and I, i'm always i always have vitamin d deficiency so last time i checked I had vitamin D deficiency and I think I've always had that ever since I've been in the UK, I'll be very honest. And that's been over a decade. And the other one that I use is zinc. This is high strength zinc. I will give you guys a link to these also. Uh, both of the products are from Pollen and Barrett, okay? Zinc is just good for your nails, for your hair. And vitamin D, it's just good for my well-being. It makes me happy, yeah. Listen, guys, if you have enough vitamin D in your body, you will be a happy person. I can tell you that much. If you have vitamin D deficiency, you're going to be tired, drained, exhausted. You're going to hate yourself. And when that happens to a girl, 
it's really difficult to stay feminine okay and we are a level up channel if you want to stay feminine you have to make sure all the nutrients in your body are enough for you and you're not deficient in anything okay And for extra added minerals and vitamins, I also eat my seeds. I add them in my oatmeal and I just cook them in my food or whatever. <sighs> I'm also gonna finish my berries. One bowl of berries, whether it's blueberries, strawberries, what berries, what other berries do we have? Raspberries, cherries, whatever ends with an Aries. Aries? I'm an Aries. Okay, anyway, whatever ends with an Aries, basically, you have one bowl of that every day. It's very antioxidant and it's really good for your system. It's very good for your skin, okay? So get these nutrients in, guys. You need that, especially if you're a girl. Duh. Hmm. Actually, listen, the only berries that I actually like are blueberries. I don't like fruits. I force myself to eat fruits. Blueberries is the only food that I like to eat. I put that in my Greek yogurt sometimes. You know the little Greek yogurt with coconut flakes in there? The ones I always get from Little. I'm sure you've seen that on my Instagram. Oh my God, that's the best Greek yogurt with a little taste of coconut and a little, very little sugar. Oh my God. And then I add these in there and it's, it's just a perfect snack. And I, I feel like I'm gonna eat that after this. So let me just save these because I'm gonna add some yogurt in there. And I usually freeze my berries, guys, okay? I freeze my berries. I always freeze my berries. I buy them fresh and then I uh, freeze them. But these are not frozen because since you guys know I've been ill. So what happened was my father, he was a somewhere he was somewhere in the market and uh, he came home with like these big baskets of oranges and berries and this and that. He's like, Isha, you need to eat this and then you'll be fine again, you know? Oh, bless him. <laughs> He was feeding me fruits while I was ill, which is why now I have like this, we have like this full loads of berries and oranges and I don't know what, um, I don't like fruits. So yeah, we have like loads of them right now. So, you know, if I freeze them, berries, because we still have so much left. I mean, who's going to eat all that berries before somebody else finishes them up? I'm going to freeze them and because it's going to stay for a long time because it's like this basket, you know, like a medium sized basket. I'm going to show you guys that in a minute. Let me just go away from here. Guys, before I went ahead to the kitchen, I wanted to show you guys something. I'm wearing super tight clothes today and I'm so happy because look at my waist. Like, look at how it's shaped. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have been using the waist trainer for a few months now. You guys know that I'm a fan of these. If you want them, you can actually get them on our website also. But no joke, you have seen me use these quite regularly, especially on Instagram. I just like put it on. I'm not gonna do it right now. Okay, I'm gonna do it in the evening because I have other things to do right now. But I wear it under my clothes. It just, guys, honestly, snatches everything in and just works so good on your body, you know? And your body gets like into this hourglass figure. It just works so well on your body and then it shapes it into like an hourglass figure, you know? Because I know a lot of people work very hard for this type of toning here, you know what I'm saying? And for me to be able to wear a waist trainer and walk in it every day, and then get this type of result is actually quite insane you know what i'm saying i love it okay guys this is what i was talking about that's a lot of berries and the yogurt that i was talking about it's this one here it's the creamy greek style coconut yogurt you get this from little you guys you're gonna get obsessed with this one Mix it with some berries and just eat it up. Honestly, it's so good. Everybody in the house is obsessed with grapes apart from me, so that has finished. But as you can see, it's only me who loves berries, so it's still full. But anyway, guys, let's mix this yogurt in here. Oops, oops, I'm recording with one hand. Excuse me. And now mix it and eat this, okay? I'm telling you, thank me later.